Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will solve assignment one, problem number two, where you have to write a program to accept from user their customer ID and their name and then display it back to them. Well, in order for you to accept an input from user in Java, you have a choice of accepting it from console. In that case, you would have to take help from the scanner class. Or you can take it from the J option pane. However, in the case of the J option pane, you would have to take it through show input dialog, which only accepts an input in a string form. So you would have to cast it to an integer if you want to convert it to an appropriate type. So let's take a scanner approach first. So here, first of all, you will declare a scanner object. And you will redirect it to accept an input from the keyboard. Again, I've spoke about this in the in-class videos. And if you are um, not in my student and you have come here directly on the channel, then please visit the Java Tutorials playlist where I speak about these in a little bit more detail. Anyway, after you declare the scanner object and you organize your import because scanner class comes from java.util package, now we will declare the variables. So if I am accepting ID and name and I want to treat them as string, I can pretty much declare them as string and accept their input one by one. Always remember that whenever you accept an input from user, you have to give the user some kind of a message like, please enter your ID. Please enter your name. So we must have a prompt before we take an input so that the person knows what they are actually inputting. The scanner object has a built-in method for accepting input from user and we take help from the next line method to accept an input from user. So we accept the user's ID and the name. So we are done with the first part of the problem where you have been asked to accept an input from the user and display it. Always remember, all your variables must be declared. So that's where I'm doing. I'm, I am declaring my variables and objects. So this is my declaration section. Uh, this is where I am accepting the input from the user. And now is the output. Now let's go ahead and run this problem. So I enter my student ID or customer ID rather, and as soon as I press enter, it asks for the name of the customer. And then as soon as I put enter there, it displays the output back to me. And as I've taught you in the classroom that slash n is a new line character, so it automatically pushes name colon to the colon to the next line. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and would also have helped you understand the problem that whenever you solve a problem, you have to first break it down and then solve it. Catch you in the next tutorial where we solve assignment one, problem number three.